I'm Corinne. I'm Thomas. <laughs> Good morning, welcome to the Chill Spot. My name's Drake, and this is Corinne. Good morning. Today we wanted to continue from our last episode where we talked about different types of co-workers that you would have to deal with. So we have five more today? Yes, five Five more today, and then we'll talk a little bit about how to deal with them, a few of them. So let's just jump right on in. So we left off at the veteran. So the next one is the mentor. Um, loves to teach, also sharing their knowledge and their job. And this fits you. I can see you in quite a few of these. I think the mentor one, yeah, I would agree with that one. And that's something I love to do. You know, I want people to grow and to learn more. So if there's something I can be a mentor to them on, I definitely, I love it. Yep. And then we have the ally, a friend, um, a person who listens, helps you through your shift or getting through this show. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes and that that's like that brings me to the family thing i've always said like the healthcare industry is so family oriented mm -hmm. and you have a lot of the homes that say they go to this culture change to be more family oriented but the cna department within itself right. becomes such a family you know mm -hmm. if i can't make it to work let's just say which i'm not one to call in <laughs> Maybe I will someday, though. <laughs> but if I built those relationships and I know if I call, if I were to call you, like, hey. So it's a great place to build those allies mm -hmm. is within your team, your direct peers. Right. That's true. But with that ally, um, you, you need to be careful not to vent, too, because sometimes they grow little legs. And, oh, yeah, yeah. And take the, it to uh, the next person. The standard rule is to vent up. That's what I train everyone in the field, you know. And when you're venting, you have to have a solution and you right. need to be venting to someone that can change it. Right. Don't be venting to someone that can't do anything about it. Right, exactly. And the next one is food police. And I've had quite a few encounters with this, but it's like they're all up in your lunch. Like ah. they're standing over you and they're like, oh, what would you bring? And, I mean, there's been quite a few times, like, somebody would reach in and get a french fry. And I want to take my fork and just stab them because it's oh, my food. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, but they but they want to know everything that's in your lunch. They're opening up the refrigerator right. and, and all that. It's all in your business. Yeah. So, I get it. Okay. And then um, the poacher. Poacher. Poacher, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Liz, for the opportunity to, like, one-up you instead of working as a team mm -hmm. and helping each other, complimenting each other, they just go in for the kill. So I like right. to call them the poacher. For sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, the lovable screw-up. Good one for last. Lovable screw-up. Every We're all that someday, so, right? Yeah. I know I am. I think I am all the time, mm -hmm. but... <laughs> Everybody loves them, but they screw up. Yeah. You, you know, yeah. I mean, yeah. same as you love me. Cause well, I yeah, everyone makes mistakes, though, you yeah, know. Yeah, exactly. So, how to deal with certain coworkers? Um, one is, especially, this is actually one of the questions that we had, is how to deal with a coworker that's kind of, like, out mm -hmm. to get you. Um, you want to, like, confirm your suspicions... Um, try to have a talk with them. For sure. Um, if you can't, just ignore it. Don't um, become so engaged with it that it just assumes your whole day there mm -hmm. at, at work and you can't concentrate on anything else with that. And then they always say, um, avoid the gossip. Don't get sucked into it. And maintain a paper trail if it gets to the point where this person is almost like harassing you. Yeah, documentation. For yeah, sure. so you can always take it up to the next level, and um, just let your charge nurse know. You're in our case at our facility, we have a unit manager. Yeah, reach yeah. out to your, them. whoever your direct report would be. I do want to go back a little bit, and I agree with all these except ignore it, and only because I'm one. I do that, and. I would say if something's bothering you to the point that you had to think in your mind, maybe I should go approach you. You know, maybe I should approach Corinne because this is bothering me. If it's bothering you, it's going to keep bothering you. So brushing it under the rug 
isn't probably the best idea because it's going to eat away at you and then eventually right. you're just going to explode and that's going to be worse. Mm -hmm. So if I were going to approach you and I was going to address an issue and it didn't work, then I would need to follow the next steps and I would let you, I personally would tell you, hey, right. I came to you, I tried to talk to you about this, it's not working out, I don't want to be that guy, but now I'm going to go to the next person. Right. That may right there, they might stop and be like, oh, they're serious and then want to talk to you about it. I have a really bad issue with brushing stuff under the rug. If something's bothering you, I recommend address it. And right when you notice it's bothering you, you want to address it because it's going to eat away at the working relationship you have with that person. Right. right. Like, oh, she's late all the time, but I'm not going to say anything. You should say something. <laughs> I would say something. And if you don't feel comfortable saying something, you can take it to your supervisor and you're probably going to get told what well, we know. So the best thing you can do is just be like, hey, Corinne, there's a seven minute grace period and you getting here 15 <laughs> minutes late every day isn't going to cut it. People here depend on you and you need to be here on time. Right. And then you just, thank you, ma'am. No, and maybe not like, like that. But yeah. seriously, you, ad you approach it. And if you do it in the right way, there's nothing wrong with it. Right. And if you do approach that person, maybe there's something you can do to help that coworker. Instead uh -huh. of being upset, maybe you can you know, like redirect how you're going to start your day because yeah. you know your coworkers having having a hard time. So always um, try to communicate. Yep. Yeah, keep communicating. Tweet. So those are some different people. There, did I say 13, 11, 11? I don't yeah. remember. But some different types of coworkers that you've encountered and you'll keep encountering, and there are more. And again, send your stuff in. If you know, if there's a type of coworker and you're just like, man. They were so difficult to work with, but you figured it out and you got over the hurdle. Let's talk about it via messenger, email, and then we can get on here and give those tips to other right. people. Mm -hmm. I have not always been the easiest person to get along with. Some days I'm not the easiest person to get along with still, but everyone has an excuse. And I always say when I, you know, my, my emotion comes out more for things I'm passionate about. And I'll, I'll say, you're right. You're right. Right. But if I'm passionate about it, you're going to know. And so that might be the reason that you might, it's perception. Just because you think they're angry, they might, that just may be how they're displaying their passion. So always keep in mind that when you're talking, for one, perception is reality. And when you're picking up on energy, vibes, whatever you want to call it, that's your perception. Just because you think they're being mean or they're being negative Nancy, that does not mean that's true because... They could just be, you could just be perceiving that. Right. I, I totally agree with that. So we hope um, this kind of helps you out a little bit. And uh, make sure that you go to YouTube. You subscribe. You and share. Yes. And you like, comment, and share. And um, reach out to us. And um, if you've dealt with any of these co-workers, let us know in your comments. We would love to to hear about it, you know, and share your experience. It could be something that that I have experienced over the years and never knew how to deal yeah, with it. Yeah. And if you would go in there and write a comment, that's one way that I can learn in case I have right. to be confronted with that coworker mm -hmm. again. And just keep learning and growing. For sure. All right. Well, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. So until next time, remember that you matter. You matter.